Hello everyone and welcome to Harv's World where we are taking a look at mods. How do I install them? How do I manage them? And what are some of the best practices when it comes to mods? Now, I realize a lot of this is old hat for many, many of you, but because of my Ravensport walkthrough for beginners, I get many new players new to Farming Simulator 2019 who don't know all of this stuff and I thought I'd make a little video to help them out. I introduce them to mods. They get a taste for it, and they want more. Now, I do have to say this is specific to PC players. This does not apply to Xbox One or PS4. So, PC players only. Sorry, console players. I know the limitations you face. Anyway, let's get started. So, when it comes to mods, the first thing we're going to do is track down our mods folder. And so, if I go into my file explorer, like so, this is File Explorer on Windows. If I go to Documents, and then double click on My Games, and then Farming Simulator 2019, this is where all of the files are for Farming Simulator. Everything. Mods, your save games, the whole nine yards. Now, normally you would have a simple folder that says Mods, and that's it. I don't have one of those at the moment. I have multiple folders named mods, but they're all named something different. We're going to get to that in just a little bit, but for now, we're going to get started now. Once you install a mod, Farming Sim will create a mods folder for you. Because I don't have one at the moment, I'm just going to go ahead and make a new one. I'll call that mod, simply mods, and that's it. And that becomes my active mod folder for Farming Simulator. Any mods I install from the in-game mod hub are going to go directly into this folder and they are going to apply to the game that I'm playing at the time. Now, if I want to manually install a mod, I'm going to go, we're just going to go to the, the web browser version of the Farming Simulator mod hub. I'm going to grab the first mod that I see, this PB30X1. I'm going to download it save it and that should be done downloading by now now i have a specific folder set up called mod downloads where i send these so i know exactly where to find them so while i've got this mod sitting here i'd like to point out for those of you who have used mods in other games in the past many times in those games they require you to unzip the mod before you can use it farming simulator does not Farming Simulator exclusively works with zipped files. So any mod you download and install manually, you want to make sure you keep it in a zipped file. Don't unzip it. Just move it over to your mods folder, which we will do right now. If I right click on that, copy it, or I could even cut it and switch back over to my Farming Simulator folder, double click on mods, right click and paste, and now you can see that mod has transferred into my mods folder and that will be available the next time I launch Farming Simulator 2019, will be available to utilize on whatever map I choose to play. Now, a thing about maps, maps are also mods. So if you download a map, you do the exact same thing, maps and mods. Right now, I've only got this Lizard PB3 in, in my mods folder, which means I'm only going to have access to base game maps. Now, some of you may be wondering, why do you have so many mods folders? Well, since we're on the topic of maps, let's talk about that for just a minute. Best practice when it comes to mods is to have a separate mod folder for each map you play. And you can kind of get a picture of the, of the different maps I've been playing I've got almost a farm, Charwell, Chellington, etc. So I keep separate folders for each map that I play. Keep in mind, that means you're going to have duplicate copies of the mods you use in each of those folders. So this can get sizable over time. One thing that I like to do is I have a folder called the Mod Starter Kit. You can name it whatever you like mods I like to start with. In my mod starter kit I have got all the mods that I like to start a map with so I can just select all those, copy them, 
go to my new mod folder, paste them right in, and now I've got all the mods that I traditionally would start with, right there. And now I can start on my map and add whatever mods I want to. Now, keep in mind, this new mods folder still doesn't have a map, so you will have to download and install a map into this mods folder to play on that particular map. Now, the reason that we do separate folders like this is because maps can cause mod conflicts. Now, what a mod conflict is, is that one mod is looking at another mod and they both have similar functions, features, or whatever, and they conflict with each other. And they cause strange and unusual behavior in your gameplay sometimes to the point where you can't even launch the game. It will crash, it will freeze up, it will do strange things. Mod conflicts are notoriously hard to track down. They are a royal headache. Let me tell you, anybody who's been playing for a while will easily tell you how hard mod conflicts can be to sort out, but you can prevent some of that simply by putting a new map in a new folder. Unfortunately, that means duplicate copies of the mods you're using, but sometimes that can't be helped. Now, if I want to switch to one of my other playthroughs, all I have to do, well, once this is highlighted, hit F2 on my keyboard, I can type in new and rename this folder. And now if I want to go back and play on the almost a farm map, all I have to do is rename this to mods, like so. Boom, Bob's your uncle. Now I can go in and launch my almost a farm map and go back right where I was because I have all of those mods right here ready to go. Very simple, no problem whatsoever. And I definitely recommend this because this mods main is what I call it, <laughs> is how I started farm sim. And it's got 861 items in it. And I can tell you right now with that many mods installed and multiple maps, mind you, any type of mod conflict is going to be a nightmare to sort out. So this will help you avoid some of that. So hopefully this information about installing mods and organizing your mods will help you in your Farming Simulator 2019 future. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, do me a favor, remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. I do appreciate you coming along for the ride and until next time, take care.